Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The pond has duckies in there. Duckies, they're all, they're on the side over here. There they are. Hey guys, wave at the camera. They know they want to wave at the camera. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we have any duckies over here. Look like majority over there. Uh, yeah, it's a duck in there. He's two ducks, they're way deep in there. They must be knew I was coming or something. You need to come out there when I'm coming in here so I can say hey to them. All right, topic of the message. All right, you know, uh, here's the thing what Joshua is trying to tell us, right? Or let me see. Joshua or God, a man, Joshua is a man of God. He speaks what God's word, and he's trying to hint, hint to those because the commandment of what God has established with Moses, and he said that thou mightest, you might, you might fear the Lord and serve, you might fear the Lord thy God and serve him. You know what I'm saying? You might. It's, it's your choice. You know what I'm saying? No. God is not going to get somebody to put a gun to your head to serve him. It is a free choice to choose from. That I hope you get the scenario concerning fearing the Lord, you know, because, you know, people will make, you know, I love, atheists love to make that God, he's a, you know, he's a dictator. And he's trying to make everybody serve him and make him and force everybody to do this, force everybody to do that. No, he put simple rules out there. And those that follow the rules will be blessed. Those that don't will be cursed. That's how the simple idea aspect of the situation of life is created by, you know? But that's another message. But, uh, but you know, Paul, uh, Joshua talks about that he, he, he said God is a holy God. And God is a jealous God. Oh, God is a jealous God. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. See, what I learned about, you know, having a true relationship with God is to understand the ideal aspect of a relationship. See, in a relationship, the objective of executing it and that it works out between one another is to understand the other person is both parties have to understand work they have to learn well they have to learn to work on understanding the other person you know what i'm saying like you know when you have a relationship with a person a person can just say hey like you meet somebody that you have established a relationship with like hey yo it's like you know, oh hey yo you know they they now that person didn't say hey yo to all the people around him in the crowd or whatever the crowd that's around him. But when you come up because of y'all relationship that y'all have established, y'all respond, hey yo, like, hey yo, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's like, what's wrong with these people? No, they have a relationship and that's how they communicate and they respond to each other that way and they have a better understanding of the other person see what i'm saying that's how a relationship is cultivated if it's going to work out somewhere somewhere some kind of way you know but the thing is when you have a relationship with god when god says something like this you know you know john moses we know spend time with god in mount sinai you know uh fire you know god was like a fire and you know he was uh, speaking to God, you know, giving Ten Commandments. He cultivated a relationship with God and had a sense of where, what God thinks and God desires us to do, pretty much. Now, you get J Joshua, and Joshua that had a relationship with Moses, that had a relationship with God, he has an idea of what God desires or who God is more importantly who God is that's what's important and now uh, he gets tells the people that God is a jealous God you know what I'm saying 
and he just laid it out about the gods and that he doesn't like gods and goddesses but when it says gods it means gods and goddesses too just like the ideal name when you see man man means man and woman because in the kingdom of god you know, God sees man and sees a woman as the rib. You know what I'm saying? That man and woman is a part of each other. So when you say man, you refer to woman too. Hope you get that. But uh, same thing with gods, you know, gods and goddesses. And he says, don't go out whoring after gods. And you know what I'm saying? He's letting you know that because God is a jealous God. He's showing a characteristic, a part of God that those that are in relationship with God needs to understand this characteristic if they want to cultivate a true relationship with God. See what I'm saying? And, you know, in this church system, you know, they got this idea that they're cultivating a true relationship with God concerning what's going on right now. But if they're not understanding that God is a jealous God and they're not confronting the ideals of gods and goddesses that are being worshipped all over like I try to let people know about the days of the week are named after gods and goddesses that's a big huge no-no concerning God you know what I'm saying God don't God hates gods and goddesses you know what I'm saying first commandment is the first commandment you know what I'm saying could that be enough for people to understand that God doesn't like gods and goddesses or is people are in a true relationship with God enough to know like the guy with the other guy hey and like hey you know are they, are they in that relationship with God like that that they know that God can't stand gods and goddesses you know what I'm saying well it is written right here in Joshua 24 that Joshua and Moses showed the idea of the rules that God has presented that he cannot stand gods and goddesses and the thing is that this church system does not understand that ideal aspect because they have not confronted a ideal of gods and goddess worship that has been done right now in all kind of places and unfortunately in the church you know what i'm saying that we do not confront the ideal the patterns of gods and goddess worship that is going on today shows that they're not really in sincere covenant with the god jehovah yeah because they oh they like to sound deep when they say god jehovah god and you know i'm in oneness with the jehovah god you know and, and but if you are where is the confrontation or the revealing of the truth of gods and goddesses you know what i'm saying and how wrong that you're not supposed to participate in in anything that is of them where is that confrontation because the thing is if you serve god as what joshua says and they preachers and teachers love this quote it as for me and my house we will serve the lord well remember what it said before then that joshua said do not uh be go back to worshiping the gods of of the that was before the flood the gods in egypt and you know the gods of the amorites the gods of these people you know what i'm saying that that that's that is included in the ideal if you serve the lord you know what i'm saying if you know that christians need to understand because this whole church this whole world system is created to make sure people worship gods and goddesses it's to make sure uh that people will be about worshiping gods and goddesses too many times you know <laughs> and and all kind of stuff you know all kind of events of course if, uh, holidays and all kind of wet things that are going on in this world events that are going on in this world festivals they have going on in this world you know are, are centered around gods and goddess worship you know what i'm saying not you know and but if you serve the lord 
you will be about that agenda of confronting gods and goddesses is what jo Joshua is pretty much saying. You know, that, 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 that he made that explanation throughout that 24, 24 chapter, the whole 24 chapter, that, you know, people say if they serve the Lord, they need to be calling out these gods and goddesses. They need to be calling them out and saying that this is wrong and we need to be about following, well, actually serving the Lord, you know. Church system, uh, uh, serving the Lord, uh, not what you think it is. It looked like more serving themselves than it is about serving the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Serving themselves in the name of Jesus because they create all these, uh, you know, uh, events to make it. How you doing, sir? They make these events, you know, about conferences and, you know, stuff to promote ministers and promote preachers and you know make money of selling books or selling this and selling that to promote people and and they do all kind of other stuff but to serve the lord it's about a task that supposed to be about and that i'm saying is supposed to be out and about you need to go out and about doing event, events around the community you know, hands on around the community, not so much, you know, to me caught up in the building and this big time, you know, uh, event over here that this big time preacher or big time singer or big time whatever and pay money to go see it. But a true act of service is, man, we finna do uh, this community event and we're going to have uh, people in the community doing something that requires us to do what the word of God says. And how about let's do the uh, uh, Acts 242, Apostles Doctrine and Fellowship, breaking the bread and prayer. You know what I'm saying? How about do that in the community? You know what Peter gave, you know, said in the day of Pentecost. That sounds like a great idea of events that's centered around these things of fellowship and uh, breaking the bread and prayer, you know what I'm saying? And, and you can do a, a performance on there. And someone can give a word, you know what I'm saying? And not collect any money off the word. And, you know, it's so centered about someone getting money and being famous and, you know, and what about just being doing service because service is not supposed to be about making money i don't know if people know that but it's not supposed to be about that it's supposed to be about helping somebody that needs help and you know huh? i'm gonna go how uh Here you go, man. Have a good day. <laughs> I did not know I'm supposed to be giving a dollar to a person right now. That came out of nowhere, guys. On him. Anyway, I shouldn't even tell nobody. Darn it. Well, uh, well, the thing is, it's about service. It's about us doing it unto the Lord, serving unto the Lord. It's not the Lord get the glory, not we get the glory because you know, oh, we did this successful, this church building did this successful thing in the community, or this ministry did this successful thing going on that, you know, everybody now is all about that idea. It's supposed to be unto the Lord. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right, it's supposed to be unto the Lord that we are supposed to be performing if we truly serve the Lord, and we should be about that in that agenda, but not glorifying ourselves you know what i'm saying lifting ourselves up we supposed to be doing community events that you know uh be about out and about in the community not in this we don't need this big old building uh, to do this big conference we do this big, we need to be in the community 
and really be out there to truly establish ministries, establish ideals to get people to cultivate relationship with God, get them praying, get them um, learning how to uh, worship, praise and worship and, 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 and in, their, in their community, in their neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? Establish something spiritual there is what really true service is what God desires of having, but not exalting ourselves. That's when we get in the as God, there it goes, as God, the serpent says to be as God, that we, you know, be exalted among the eyes of people is what unfortunately this church system is too much about instead of about simple, you know, uh, serving in their community. But you be like the gods and goddesses, you know what I'm saying? This, and you be, uh, uh, be like them and you, you will, they and they won't be serving God. They will be serving you. See, it won't be about serving God. It'll be serving you. Is the problem is really going on that needs to be discussed and needs to be talked about if we truly sincere about truly serving God. We don't want to be like the gods and goddesses. And that's the message. I hope you understand it. And I hope it makes sense to you. To God be the glory and forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.